Okay, I'm going to start by doing the top of the head. And you can see on the picture, there's a lot of colours in there. So what we've got to start off with is putting some base tones in, first of all. So that those colours, the stronger colours, the greens, the yellows, the blues, particularly, won't register as too hard and too harsh. I'm going to do my very best to keep the picture in view because it's such a complicated picture that I'd like you to see how I build this up. And to start with, I'm going to start with this area here. So let's get that in. In fact, we might as well go right down to this section here because it's all the same colour. Now, what we have to do, of course, because we're using the dark grey paper, we've got to brighten the picture up, which means putting in light colours on to start with. Now, I'm only going to do a little bit of this and then I'll continue and show you how I proceed. Now, this is how I start the ball rolling. Now, that's not going to be strong enough. So let's go in with a stronger tone. When it gets to here, you see, there's a there's a green. So I don't particularly want that white to be under the green. And we'll use a, a perhaps a light grey for that. Now I'm going to use the ivory now. Because what I want to do is to make it much more creamy than that. Now, we've got a, quite a bit of artistic license as well on this. But that's not making an excuse, that's meaning that we can do our own thing. But I don't particularly want it underneath here. So what I'm going to do now is put the grey, light grey, under there. And the green will go on top of that. Right, so that's 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 all the green. This is the black. That area is very dark. So let me just complete the whole of that area using those three colours. I won't need any more. When I come to the blue, let me just show you that, which is here. I'm going to put the grey in like that. That would be for the blue. All right, so let me finish that off. I'll go. I'm not doing the beak at the moment, just this top edge. Now that's all the uh, base colours in. Now what I plan to do here, this is 770 in Carbothello. If you haven't got it, choose a colour as close to that as you can. 181 will probably be fine if you've got favour. But I like this because it's got a mauvey tint to it. And you'll see when I do the eye in a minute, that's got a same kind of tone in it. In fact, we'll be using this in the eye. I'm going to be very, very careful here because I want to. I don't want to make the eye any smaller than I've got it. So I'm going around the outside of my white trace down mark. Right, so fine. Now, and the reason I'm doing this is it gives me a contrast. It gives me something to work with. I'm not putting the very dark colour on, which will be black just yet but it's a nice idea to have something like this so that you can see how strong the contrast will be between the two. You've got to start thinking about putting some depth in. Now this you can see here we've got pinky look so I've got a very light this is a greta colour I'm using all the colours all the pencils and I'm going to put that pinky and you can see as soon as I do that you've got that same colour. Now, as well as that, let's just I'm going to I'm going to continue that all the way around there. There's another colour I've seen, and this is one eight five in Faber, and that can be put in as well. You see the difference between now that one can come down here as well as far as the blue. So I'm just going to use those two colours now and at this time I'll show you little snippets as I work my way round there. 
Time to add two more colours. 104 in favour. Now this is a lemon yellow, so this will be the forerunner of the greens, as well as a colour in its own right. It goes into that 184, that was it, 184, 185. I'll give you all the colours anyway, so you won't have to go remembering them. And this is a, got a kind of greeny look to this as well, which is rather nice. Now we need some strong tones now. So I'm going to sort out a few more colours. Well, I've got a whole bunch of colours now that we're going to be using. Now this is a 168 in favour. And this will give us the medium green tone. And then every B to will have a slightly different colouring. So you can use your artistic license, anything like this. The key to this is putting the yellows on first so that these greens don't register too strong. Now this is begging for the blue, so that's what I'm going to do next. Blue. We've still got some more greens to put on, but uh, I'll leave that for the moment. Now, um, blues. I've got two blues here and I'm not really sure which ones to use. I think I'll use a lighter one of the two. I've already put grey on there, so this is never going to come out true blue. It will have a weakened effect, but that's good because it will give me the base. Quite a lot of fine detail in this, so make sure your pencils are sharp when you tackle it. Good. Now, we've also got to look at these colours here, so this is where these come in. I'm going to start with this one. Now, much more deliberate now. You can see this colour here that I'm looking for. Also, got to be quite patient and not try to do it too quickly. Good. And this one's quite a bit stronger. So, but as you can see, it works out well. Now we've got some dark colours as well to put in, and those will be. I've also seen quite a lot of yellow up there. Now, as you see it, best to do it. Quite easy to overlook them. Great. Now come into here. If you press lightly, you'll get a light effect because you're going on top of the light colours we put in. And if you want something to look stronger, you just press just a little bit harder. Now there is another colour in here, which I, I'll, I'll just, I'll keep that by me for the moment, and that's an orange. Um, now I've got, um, let's try that one. This is a nice orange, it's quite vibrant. Yes, that will do. You can see that in here. Do I want any more? Not really, no. Okay, well let's just finish this off. Now, and also here you can see there's darker green, so this is where we can start using just a little bit more strength. There's a lot of dark in it, much more than you think, if you look at that. But I really do think this is the right colour. So I think I might well leave that alone for the time being. You can always return. But now I'm going to find my general white, which I've, uh, I've lost, but I will find. 
there I found it. Look, it was right up here. It was in view all the time. Amazing, isn't it? Well, let's just do this now. Now, if you haven't got this, you just have to use one of the other whites. But this is, it's very responsive. And it works really well if you want to put something on top. So I want some white back in here. Now, I'm not going to do any more. I think I will spoil it. So, there we are. Now, I'm now going to do the eye. Uh, so, um, I'll get the colours out for that. Some smashing colours for that I'm going to be using. Um, just uh, Those are just three which I picked out. 